Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's your first time here. If it is your first time here, then hi, my name is Roisin and I am so glad you clicked on this video. My content usually centres around trying to use more of what I have, get my inventory and my stash down in numbers and buy a bit less. So one of the tools that I have used over the years as I've been adapting to a new way of shopping and spending around beauty is by project panning. So this year I do have my main project pan which I have posted the intro and first two updates of. So if you've not seen that I will link that up in the eye. But today I am introducing a second project pan, a little side project pan that's going to be my five before fall. It is the 2nd of June today when I'm filming this and introing it and the 1st of fall or autumn as we would actually say here in the UK but 5 by autumn doesn't quite have the same ring. So the first day of autumn officially is the 1st of September so it's going to be a 3 month long project pan so intro in June obviously. How is it June by the way? On a side note, how is it June? But anyway... That aside, intro today, so 2nd of June, and then I will update at the beginning of July, the beginning of August, and then the finale on the 1st of September. Just a little short one, five items, let's get on into what they are. First item, if you have been with me for a while, this palette will be very familiar to you. This has been over the years in various project pans, and it's looking pretty empty as a result of that. Now, I absolutely want to finish this palette like I want to see this full palette emptied out I know that's going to take like a lot more work than you know just one more project pan or whatever but for this project pan I'm going to be focusing on the bronzer last year I had this blush in my year long project pan and as you can see I've hit the pan at the side here now that took me 100 uses and I did that over the course of a year I'd used this blush quite a lot before I started that project the bronzer is definitely out of everything that was in this palette from the get-go the bronzer is by far the thing I used least I am just not a huge bronzer person as you can kind of tell I am very very pale and I am one of those people who is very okay with being pale, like it, it's fine. So I'm not somebody who uses fake tan, I'm not trying to bronze up, it's just not my look. So I never really organically reach for this bronzer, but as I said, I really want to see this palette empty. So for my three month project pan, I am going to aim to use this bronzer 50 times by the 1st of September. I will be counting my tally marks in the back, this is from the last project pan where I counted the uses on this so as I say 100 uses it took me to hit this pan and I had used this blush quite a lot before then so I'm not really sure that even in 50 uses we will see that much difference into this bronzer but if I can see that this took me 100 uses plus however many I'd used it before to hit pan in this blush there's probably another 100 uses or so there so if I'm going to say then roughly say there's 250 to 300 uses in this product for me to finish it. I've really not used it very much so I'm hoping maybe doing like 50 uses in a three month project pan every year. Theoretically in like six years this might be used, you know. It, it's, it's a long way from being finished but I think 50 uses will be a really good strong start into this so that's the, the first goal of my five by fall project pan is 50 uses on this bronzer. The second item is another makeup item and it is this primer. So I am trying to reduce my primers down. I think I've got 15 at the moment. I want to get that down to nine by the end of the year. So I am trying to work on my primers, but I feel like this primer in particular, this is a 15 mil primer. It's bigger than like the little tiny like sample primers that I've got that I could definitely knock out, you know, within a month if I just concentrate on them. But it's not full size one that I would put into like a year long project pan. So I feel like a little three month project pan is probably the ideal time to try and use this up. The starting weight for this is 15 grams so and that includes the packaging obviously so essentially if I try and use five grams per month on this I should definitely have finished it by the end and that would knock one of the primers out of my collection and get me towards my goal of single figure primers in my inventory. So that is item number two. And the third item is another makeup item 
and it's now in this little tub but this again I think this was in a project plan quite a few years ago now actually is my MAC Viva Glam Cindy Lauper lipstick which I finished in the bullet and then obviously scooped out what was there for the last few years since that project pan this little tub has just existed in my collection I've never actually finished it kind of near the end of its life like it still smells okay but I think it's it's definitely going to go off but I feel like I've done so much work to finish the majority of that lipstick to get it to a point where I needed to scoop it out that I want this as an empty like I don't want to just declutter even this tiny little remnant in this pot I say tiny little remnant I think this is actually probably more product than it looks like unfortunately but yeah so the goal in the next three months is to try and finish this so I think probably in terms of the colour I'll need to use it as both a lip and a cheek colour to try and get through what's left I do also have a blush in my main project pan so they're going to be a little bit in conflict there but yeah I really want the satisfaction of saying I finished a lipstick so hopefully this project will be the one at the end of which I get to say that. I think it'll be the first ever lipstick I've actually finished. I don't think I've ever like fully finished a lipstick ever in my life so this could be the first time ever. The penultimate product for this project is my hand cream. I am really trying to bring my hand cream stash down as well, like my primers. That is a specific goal that I've got to try and bring that category down quite significantly this year. And at the end of my quarter one empties, if you guys watched that video, if not, I will link it up. Um, I really hadn't made any headway and I was aware of that. So I definitely need to start putting hand creams into any sort of side projects that I'm doing. So we're starting off with this one. It's from Ely Bruquet Bergamot and Patchouli Hand Cream. There's 29 grams of product in here. So yeah, hoping to finish that within three months. I have used it a couple of times. So if you guys can see it, it is squeezed down here. So I'm really hoping that I can definitely finish this within three months. If I finish this early, I would roll another one in. I'm not going to bother. I don't... <sighs> I know a lot of people like a rolling project pan. I feel like for me, I quite like an end to my items if they're in a project pan because I feel like when I'm using something for a project, I'm, I'm abandoning the rest of my collection in favour of using that and concentrating on it. But hand cream's a little bit different. So for this item and this item only, if I finish it before the end of the project, I will roll another one in in its place. As long as I finish this by the end of the project, I'll be really happy. But if I finished it early and could finish a bonus one, I'd be even happier. And the last product in this project pan is my Beauty Pie Uber Youth Neck Spray. Now, Lauren got me this. I, I specifically asked for it. She wasn't being cheeky. Um, I got this for my birthday, not last year, but the year before from Lauren. My birthday is in July, so we're coming up on, on a two years basically since she gave me this but I have done that thing where because this is from Beauty Pie so Lauren had a Beauty Pie membership. Lauren's my friend by the way. Lauren's not like a famous person I expect everyone to know but I think I talk about her that much on my channel that I just presume people will know who I'm talking about. So my friend Lauren who you may not know but I reference her a fair amount. Um, she's very interested in beauty. She's like my beauty friend so she, things come up in context of what I'm talking about in my channel and I reference what Lauren had to say about it or whatever so Lauren had a beauty pie membership I don't um I didn't and I don't I've never had one so I have done that thing where because to get this again one of us would need to take a beauty pie membership and I know Lauren's probably unlikely to do that I do like this and I really like the foot cream that's in my main project pan I don't really know if it's worth paying a membership just for those products though. Because of that, I've done that thing where I've stopped reaching for this because I, I don't want it to be done because I'm unlikely to join Beauty Pie just to replenish this, I think. Because of that, I've then started rationing it, which is just a waste of time. It's got a 12 month expiry, so it is technically expired. I don't pay too much attention to the expiry dates as regular viewers will know, most of my collection is very much technically expired but it still feels all right at the moment but I have definitely over the last few years as I've changed my habits experienced that things do go off. I don't want this to go off so there's no point in stopping using it 
waiting for that inevitably to then happen. I'd rather it left my collection because I used it and finished it than left my collection because it's gone off. So I am putting it in this project and I am hoping, because there is quite a decent chunk out of it, I'm hoping if I'm just really diligent with this that I will be able to finish it within the project. So that will be hopefully another empty. But anyway, those are all five items that are in this project pan. So wish me luck. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.